Hi there! My name is Emma and in today's video I am going to teach you some phrasal verbs about getting dressed and putting on clothes. Okay, so it's about clothes. What's a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is when you have a verb and you have a preposition. So it's a verb plus preposition is a phrasal verb. Students usually hate phrasal verbs. There's so many of them in English and they're very difficult uh, to remember. So in this video I'm going to teach you um, maybe 12 or 13 phrasal verbs uh, that will really help you to improve your English. So let's get started. The first verb I want to teach you is dress up. Okay, dress up. What does it mean to dress up? When you dress up, maybe you have a hot, hot date. Maybe there's the boy or the girl of your dreams and you want to look good. You will dress up, meaning you will wear something that looks extra good. So for example, right now I'm wearing this uh, sweater, not dressed up. If I wanted to dress up, oh, look here, maybe I would put on this nice dress. Okay, so dress up. Here's my sentence. I have a date. I have a date. I should dress up tonight. Okay. Zip up. So again, dress up, zip up. What does zip up mean? Well, I'll show you. Did you see that? Zipping up means you have a zipper and you pull it up. Zip up, it's cold. Mothers love to say this to their children. Zip up your jacket so you won't be cold. Very similar to zip up is button up. When you button up something, you don't zip up, you have buttons. So let me show you. I will take off my sweater and I will put on a new jacket with buttons. Okay, so if I button up my jacket, maybe, where is the button? Okay, yeah. just like this, okay. So I buttoned up my jacket. Okay, good. I should button up my jacket. The next expression I want to teach you, do up. So all of these up, 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 up. If you do something up, it means you either button it up or you zip up. Do up means the same thing as zip up and button up. I must do up my jacket means I should button up my jacket. Um, do up your jacket. Okay, it's all the same. Have on. What do you have on right now? It means the same thing as wearing. What are you wearing? What do you have on? Pay special attention. The preposition is on, okay? So tell me, what does Emma have on right now? Emma has a hat on. Well, it's not exactly a hat, it's a shower cap. I like to take baths, so this is for the shower. Put on. I put on my hat. Okay, when you put something on, it's just putting on. I put on my hat. What's the opposite of put on? Oh, I don't have it here. Well, you will see it in a moment. But I put on, take off. I took off my hat. Next expression, throw on. I threw on my hat. Can you guess what this means? If I throw it on, it means I do it quickly, okay? I threw on my hat and I ran out the door. I threw on my hat and I went to school. I threw on my jacket and I went to school. So it means you put on clothes very quickly. I'm going to take off my hat. I think it's a little too colorful. 
try on. What does it mean to try something on? If you ever go to a store and you see, oh, look at that dress, it's the most beautiful dress, I'm going to try it on, meaning I'm going to put it on at the store to see if I like it. So try on is for shopping. You usually go to a small room, a fitting room, and you see if you like the outfit by putting it on. So it's about stores. At the store, I tried on the shirt. At the store, I tried on the shoes. I tried on the hat. So this is the expression try on. Again, on, 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 on. And the first four were up, 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 up. It's very important that you use the correct prepositions. If I say do down or do in, uh, do off, these maybe don't make any sense or they have different meanings. So the preposition is what makes the meaning. So let me teach you some more expressions about getting dressed. Okay, so I already explained take off, but I wanted you to see how it's spelled. Take off. I took off my hat, now I have no hat. I took off my jacket means to take off your jacket. Okay, so it's the opposite of put on. I put on my hat and I took off my hat. Another really good phrasal verb to learn is kick off. Sometimes um, when you go home, your feet hurt, you've been wearing your shoes all day, you take off your shoes. You can also say you kicked off your shoes. So it, it's specific to shoes. You don't kick off your shirt. You don't kick off your sweater. You kick off your shoes, meaning you take off your shoes. She kicked off her shoes when she went home. She kicked off her high heels. You know high heels? They're those uncomfortable tall shoes. She kicked off her shoes. Wear in. So you know the verb to wear. When you wear something in, it means um, you have something that's new and it's sort of uncomfortable. Sometimes when we buy new shoes, um, they're kind of tight, they're a little bit uncomfortable. The more we wear them, the more comfortable they become. So when we talk about wearing in something, it means we take something new, wear it a lot until it becomes comfortable. So for example, my feet hurt because I'm wearing new shoes. I need to wear my shoes in meaning I need to put on my shoes many times, walk in these shoes until they become comfortable. Hang up, okay? Just like hanging up the phone, click. Um, we have this expression for, for dr getting dressed. Hang up, what does it mean? Um, well, let's see if you can guess by my example. Don't leave your clothes on the floor, hang them up. So hanging up means when you um, put your clothes either in a closet, when you, you take them off the floor and you put them high up, usually in a closet, um, so they don't wrinkle. So your clothes stay and look nice. So that's hang up. When you put your clothes in the closet, you hang them up. And again, look carefully at the prepositions. Up, in, off off. It's very important to remember the prepositions because otherwise it changes the meaning. So I hope you come visit our website at www.ingvid.com. You can do a quiz there where you can practice these phrasal verbs. With phrasal verbs, it's very, very important to practice. So you start to really think every time you see hang up, you know what it means. Okay. Phrasal verbs, you need to practice a lot. So visit our website to practice these verbs. Until next time, take care.